everyone, Alpha Eagle here again. I hope you're all doing well, and may God bless you all. So, I saw the She-Hulk TV series trailer, and I have not much to say other than it sucked. The CGI is terrible. The only excuse that there could be is that this is a TV show with a smaller bu budget than a movie. And I'll give them credit for going for a more feminine-looking She-Hulk rather than the very ugly, roided-out Hulk and drag look that She-Hulk has had in recent years. They seem to be going for this very girly chick flick sitcom tone rather than a superhero show, and that turned me off right away. Congratulations, Marvel. You just pushed away half of your fans with this chick flick tone. Oh great, She-Hulk is going out on dates and hanging out with her wine mom cat lady friends instead of fighting crime. Uh, this seems much like the Miss Marvel show in that they are going for a very niche market, whereas Miss Marvel was going for the teenage girl market, and this is going for the old cat lady market. It's not good for Marvel to target such a niche audience. Yes, to be fair, comics themselves used to be marketed to a male demographic. I miss those good old days when comics were cool and kicked ass. Now we have this garbage. The point is, while superhero comic books, movies, and TV shows skewed towards the male audience, they still appealed to a larger demographic. And it's clear that that demographic is shrinking, and that's not good for Marvel or the fans. Now, is it woke? It sure looks like it is. It has a lot of feminist vibes to it. She has a male boss, and in, in these type of shows, the male boss is always, quote, sexist. And he'll end up hitting on her or treating the male employees better. You know that at some point, she will be getting, quote, sexually harassed by someone and will end up beating him up. There'll be some male villain that she'll have to give the speech about patriarchy too. I'm surprised she doesn't have a gay best friend. Although most of the guys in this trailer seem to be gay. So I'm pretty sure that she'll have a gay best friend. They just didn't show him yet. This picture shows exactly how the far left wants society to be. Diverse women in front, diverse men in back, and straight white males are extinct. <laughs> They've always used the debunked narrative of this is how America looks now these days. That's not true at all. White people are still the majority. We are still 75% of the population. And yes, white Hispanics are white. This is more proof that Hollywood hates straight white men. I'm not a superhero. That is for billionaires and narcissists and adult orphans for some reason. Superheroes are billionaire narcissists, adult orphans. Wow. And with that line, they tell you to your face that they hate straight white men. And they hate their own characters, even. And that's why they're replacing them all with female or diverse characters. At least, She-Hulk is more straightforward with it. Unlike Loki, Hawkeye, or Moon Knight, where they lied to you and said that the series was about the title character, and it ended up being about their replacement instead. This green Power Ranger is supposed to be Frogman. No wonder Hasbro made a figure of him recently. This weirdly dressed woman is supposed to be Titania. She looks more like Cheetah from Wonder Woman 84. Another terrible comic book movie, by the way. We get a look at Abomination, which is what this show is. <laughs> and his CGI looks terrible too, but at least we get some supervillains in this series. But it looks like they'll take a back seat to the girly chick flick stuff. And it ends with the most woke thing of all, a woman carrying a man to bed. No man wants a woman to carry him. Well, certain types, like Kami, Beta, Soy Cucks, would like it. Now, to be honest, no straight man would turn down a date with this She-Hulk, and most men would go to bed with her. Now, being a Christian, I wouldn't go to bed with her straight away, but most men would. But most men would hate it if she carried them. None would complain at the time, but in their minds they would be thinking, this is so embarrassing and emasculating. But that's the way Marvel is these days. The women are replacing the men and taking the male sexual roles. We've seen this with the Thor Love and Thunder trailer and images. 
Jane Foster and Valkyrie with their CGI masculine built arms, and Valkyrie with her incorrect usage of the word king. So this show just looks like a giant green turd. So that's about it. I'm Alpha Eagle. God bless you for watching, and God bless America.